Welcome to CCMR. Your CCMR team is here to help you achieve your goals after high school, whether that may be going to college, beginning your career, or enlisting into the military. Each high school campus has a Dean and a Go Center. This is where you can get help with any of the plans you are creating for your post-secondary success. Ms. Curtin is your CCMR Dean at R.L. Turner High School. Ms. Fisher is your CCMR Dean at Ranchview High School and at our Early College High School. Ms. Jane is your CCMR Dean at Newman Smith High School. Ms. Villanueva is your CCMR Dean at Creekview High School. Ms. Beck is your CCMR at-risk specialist who serves all high school campuses and Ms. St. Laurent is your CCMR district coordinator. You might be asking yourself, what is CCMR? You will hear the letters CCMR a great deal throughout high school. They stand for college, career, and military readiness. Sometimes we get into the daily small routines of school and we can easily lose sight of what and why we are preparing for our futures. The vision of the CCMR department is to have all students graduate high school prepared for a college, career, or military path of your choice. At CFB, we want all students to have access to the tools to explore, select, and be prepared for life after high school. There are many ways you can graduate from high school and be ready for your post-secondary success. We want to help you find the best fit and match option after high school. The focus of CCMR is you, the student. The Texas Education Agency has different ways of recognizing students as CCMR met. Let's discuss the different ways to meet your CCMR indicators. One of the first ways to meet your CCMR indicator is through an advanced placement AP exam with a qualifying score. Another way to earn your CCMR indicator is by receiving a qualifying TSI score criteria on any of the college entrance exams such as ACT, SAT, or the TSIA2 exam, which demonstrates college readiness in language arts and math. These qualifying scores allow you to meet college readiness and earn your CCMR indicator. Throughout high school, you may take one or all of these exams. All students will receive preparation and testing opportunities from 9th through 12th grade to help you meet this requirement. CCMR indicators are not just for college. There are programs at CFB leading to certifications that prepare you to enter the workforce with applicable skills and proof that you have what is necessary for that industry. You can earn an industry certification in any of the career and technical education programs that your high school offers. Please refer to the CTE guides located on the CFB Career and Technical Education website for the most up-to-date information about your high school's career clusters and programs of study. You can also enroll in a dual credit or on-ramps course and receive a passing grade for the class to earn your CCMR indicator. CFB offers a variety of courses on campus or throughout agreements with colleges to help you earn college credit while you are still a high school student. Another way to earn your CCMR indicator is by earning an associate's degree. Students who earn enough college credits can graduate with an associate's degree before graduating from high school at CFB ISD. Students enrolled at ECHS will be exposed to the most direct pathway to this CCMR option, but please note that this option can be accomplished at any of our CFB high schools. If you are interested in enlisting into one of the branches of the Armed Forces, this option can also earn you a CCMR indicator. Enlistment into the Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, Space Force, or the Coast Guard will be honored with a CCMR indicator. Students served by special education can demonstrate college, career, and military readiness by graduating with an advanced diploma, employment, or employability skills as determined by the ARD committee. Starting in the ninth grade, students served through special education at CFB have the tools and opportunities to find their right post-secondary match. Don't panic. You only need to meet one of the criteria we have just discussed to demonstrate
demonstrate you are ready for post-secondary success upon graduation. The counseling department at your school and the CFB CCMR department are here to support you with your post-secondary education plans. Now let's review. CCMR stands for College, Career, and Military Readiness. We want every CFB student to be college, career, or military ready to ensure a successful future for all students. There are different ways students can demonstrate CCMR readiness. Students only need to meet the CCMR indicator in one of the criteria we discussed. And students have the support of the counseling staff at their campus and the CCMR department in order to achieve their CCMR goal. Now that we have reviewed the options you have to graduate college, career, or military ready, let's make a plan. Please review this list and select at least one option you think works best for you. So, how will you be CCMR ready? Now, we will discuss the ABCs of testing, the test you will be taking this school year, which tests are required for graduation, and which tests can demonstrate college readiness. All students are required to take end of course exams in order to graduate. These exams are also referred to as STAR exams. The next three tests discussed are TSI exams, which demonstrate college readiness. The ACT and the SAT exams are required for admissions and or college placement nationwide. If you do not meet college readiness scores through these exams, you will need to assess through the TSIA2, which is also known as a Texas Success Initiative. The TSIA2 is another way to demonstrate college readiness and this assessment is used for college course placement at Texas colleges and universities. End of course exams are required for high school graduation. Exams are given in the spring and retesting is available in the summer and fall. EOCs will cover Algebra 1, Biology, English 1 and 2, and U.S. History. The ACT can be taken as a 10th, 11th, or 12th grader. These scores are accepted by all four-year U.S. universities and the assessment covers subjects directly related to the LEARN curriculum throughout your high school education. If you would like to take the ACT test, please be sure to sign up to take this test on your own on an offered Saturday that fits your schedule. There is a fee to take this assessment, but if you qualify for free or reduced lunch, you will also qualify for a fee waiver when taking the ACT. The ACT will cover material in English, Mathematics, Reading, and Science in a multiple choice assessment. The score range is 1 through 36 for each individual subject area, and the composite score will be an average of these four subject areas. The SAT is another entrance exam option used by most colleges and universities for admission decisions and course placement. This is a multiple choice exam which also includes sections that require student produced responses. CFB ISD provides a free SAT school day for seniors in the fall and for juniors during their spring year. If you are interested in retaking the SAT exam, you are able to register for any Saturday dates that accommodate your schedule. Any other SAT days outside of the CFBISD SAT school day will come with a fee attached. There is a fee to take this assessment, but if you qualify for free or reduced lunch, you will also qualify for a fee waiver when taking the SAT. The SAT covers evidence-based reading and writing along with a math section. The score range for the SAT exam is 400 through 1600. With evidence-based reading and writing portion, the score range falls between 200 and 800, which is the same for the math portion, a score range between 200 and 800. The SAT provides measure for college readiness and allows colleges with a common data point to compare all applicants. The TSI A2 is a placement test for students enrolling in a public college or university in Texas. You will be tested in reading, writing, and math. 
The TSIA-2 is completely online and you are not able to go back and answer previous questions. You will only take the TSIA-2 if you do not meet college readiness through your SAT or ACT scores. The score range for the TSIA-2 has three different components. The score range for ELAR and math is 910 through 990 and the diagnostic range is 1 through 6 if applicable. The score range for the essay portion is 1 through 8. Now let's discuss what scores you need to demonstrate college readiness through the ACT, SAT, or TSIA-2. To meet college readiness through the ACT, you must receive a score of 40 in English and Reading and a score of 22 for Math. To meet college readiness through the SAT, you must receive a score of 480 in Evidence-Based Reading and Writing and a score of 530 for Math. To meet college readiness through the TSIA-2 ELAR portion, you must receive a score of 945 or higher. If you score below a 945, you can still meet college readiness by earning a score of 5 or higher on the diagnostic portion. You must also receive an essay score of 5 or higher. To meet college readiness through the TSIA-2 math portion, you must receive a 950 or higher. If you score below a 950, you can still meet college readiness by earning a score of 6 or higher on the diagnostic portion. Wow! That was a lot of information. Please know you can always refer back to your campus CCMR Dean for any help or questions you might have throughout the year. Also, please take a look at our CCMR resources that can be found at www.cfbisd.edu slash ccmr to access information, CCMR guides, and so much more. We also love to be involved through our CCMR social media. Please take a few moments to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or YouTube. We love our followers and we can't wait to see you on social media. Thanks for listening. Have a wonderful school year.